And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, once again, bringing you my top worst list of 2021. That's right. These are the worst films I've seen this year, and this is my my personal list of this year. So if you like these movies, awesome. For me, they're horrible. So let's talk about it, because honestly, it's a very short list, and I'm, I'm just glad it wasn't too many movies I saw. Granted, I didn't see a lot of movies this year for obvious reasons, but still, some movies I saw, I only have five, so let's just talk about it, um, I'll start from the bottom and go wake my way up, so at number five, I have Don't Breathe 2, um, the first Don't Breathe movie had a cool concept where a bunch of kids sneak into an old man's house, by the way, the man was blind, and try to rob him, and the man tries to defend himself by taking out all the kids, Sequel happens, and now the man is hanging out with a young girl, and he's playing superhero. How do you go from being a killer to a superhero in, in two films? It just made no sense to me. Yeah, sure, the action scenes were cool and all, but it, it, it just it, it felt like if John Wick was blind and he was going out killing everybody, and and then the next movie he's just a good guy. It just made no sense to me. I just did not like it. Granted, the acting was cool, but still, I just did not like the film. It just bored me, and I couldn't stand it, so go figure. So, at number four, I actually have The Matrix 4. Yeah, I know. Listen, I was hoping that The Matrix was going to be great. I didn't really want another Matrix film, but we got one anyway. Saw it. Started off great. I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be great seeing Keanu come back and the girl who plays Trinity come back. And then the, the thing just goes off the rails and just dies. So like, okay. Then they try to retcon certain things from the original films and then try to make it look like, hell yeah. This is this is a sequel reboot kind of thing. Made no sense to me, so go figure. I did not like it as well. At number three, I had probably one of my most anticipated films of last year or this year or being A Quiet Place 2. Love that first film. I don't know what happened with the second film. The second film to me just fell flat. Um, Emily Blunt was barely in the movie, so that was a little bit of disappointment. Sure, we got to see more of the creatures, but the re the reason I don't like this film that much is because the kid characters, well, some of the kid characters, they they try too hard to do certain things in the film, and Emily Blunt was just there and just to be the star power, but. She didn't really do anything too much. It was all about the one kid. And granted, I liked the kid who played, you know, the daughter. She was great. But the, the fact that the matter is the movie was just just her. And it didn't really focus on, you know, the, the family dynamic and what they have to go through and try to be quiet. Like, granted, Emily Blood's character had a baby. But still, I mean, come on. You couldn't have done something a little bit more intriguing with the characters. So I didn't like it for that much. So, at number two, I have Spongebob. The, the new 3D version, whatever you want to call it. I don't think I even reviewed this film. Because honestly, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing Spongebob. Spongebob is kind of getting to the point where he's like, just just go away. Go away. Okay, there's so many other great animated films that can come out. And they just keep bringing Spongebob back. Now granted, the first Spongebob was awesome. Then they made a second one, which is like, whatever. Then they made a new one, which is this one. Just stop. Just stop. Spongebob was funny the first, like, five seasons, and then it just died. To, to me, anyway, it just died. Spongebob doesn't doesn't work anymore as a show. And I'm sorry. Nickelodeon needs to find something new, because honestly, they kill what, what the original stuff with Nickelodeon was. And, of course, number one film of the worst of this year that I could not stand. And I thought the trailers were awesome. I was like, okay, this is going to be great, because I like the director. He's very hit or miss, depending on what he does. But I think he he struck out badly. It's like missing the final shot in in the Super Bowl. You throw try to throw a touchdown and you completely lose it to win the game. That's exactly what this movie was, and that's old. M. I probably butchered. I apologize. Newest thriller about a family that goes to a beach and things start to happen where they start fast forward in their lives to become older. Some of them who are kids become teenagers and adults, and then adults become an old grandpa people, and then gone. 
Yeah, did not did not understand this film at all. I get the premise and it was cool, but the film at the end of the film, it just the payoff was just like, oh, that's the reason. I thought there would be like a supernatural thing with the beach or whatever, and I'm gonna spoil it. So if you don't want to know, sorry. It's all about science and 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 technology. It, it was just like why, why, please. You know, I've seen one of his worst films, The Visit. You ever saw that movie? This might be worse. Yeah, that movie had ending of aliens taking over grandparents. This one, you have scientists making, making, trying to make cures for people, but yet there's, you know, effects that happens to the people and they croak. Really? It made it look like the island was the problem. And then the whole time the movie was just about these people making experiments because these people have problems and they try to cure their problems, which is cool. But the whole premise is supposed to be about this island being infected in, or whatever kind of voodoo it is. And they can't stop aging or whatever. That sounded so cool from the trailer. And then it just flat on his face. So he swung and missed in Strike 3. He's out. I can't. Hopefully his next film is a lot better. But um, yeah, you won't be seeing. I won't be seeing that film ever again. Because honestly, yeah, what a waste. So. There's my top five list of the worst movies of this year for me. Number one, Old. Two is the new SpongeBob film. Three is A Quiet Place 2. Even though I didn't really want to put this movie in here, but just because it just felt bad. I just didn't like it too much. Four was Matrix. I wanted to put that movie higher, but I gave it a pass because some of the action scenes were actually kind of cool. And number five is Don't Breathe 2. That movie's just ter terrible. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what your, your worst list is of this year. Have some good ones, bad ones, leave me a comment below, let me know. Thank you very much, and have a good night.